you want to let you know? Put everything on my phone. What'd you say? Put everything on my phone. Put everything on your phone. Notes. Oh, you did? Put all my notes down. Look at... No way. Yep. Holy sure shit. Sure did. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. This is another episode of another pour. So, Dan is using a two by four to <laughs> open a beer. This is a wall mount uh, beer opener, and I just usually have it sitting in there, and I use it as a handheld. Now, here's the thing. Every, you know, everybody says, you guys need an intro. You need an opening. Yee yee. That's what they say. Ricky goes, I'm not used to it. You guys just get right into it. Yeah. So Dustin made us an intro. Oh. Did you listen to it? No. Holy shit. I wish I had it on my phone. I wasn't prepared to like play Is it, it right now. I don't remember. I think he put it in Discord. Oh. Um, my bad, buddy. I, it was like two weeks ago, and it was him making fun of us in the intro, and he waits to the last bit to make fun of us. Yep. So you think it's like a real intro, yeah. and then you find out. Not. Nah. Tomfoolery. And if we would have just listened to the first three seconds and put it in, we'd be like, that was nice of him. And then we would have been like, oh, he was being an ass. So okay. <clears throat> I'm going to drink this goose on because I'm sick. Whiskey doesn't. Here, you want some? You don't yeah, have to have it right now. We just set it over on yeah. your side. Just so I don't. Is this just the regular one? Yeah, that they that's the regular okay. gal. None of the, the special finishes. Those are so good. Yeah. They're Always. so freaking good. Um, um, this so is, this is right after we come back from Kentucky. We traveled to the old KY, the capital of the jelly. Some would say you gotta learn to talk over your. <clears throat> I don't talk. Talk how I fucking talk, dude. Yeah, that's fine. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> we could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you just talked over it, like you always. You want me to talk? The- hold on, like yep. that? Yeah. This? Yeah. If it's worse, blame Sean. I can only help you so much with the DSer. Would you? Uh, da, 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 I don't anyway. need. I don't do S's, dude. Everyone does it, S's. You don't have to. You don't have to DS my shit. I always do. You grow a lisp randomly. It's the most interesting thing I've ever seen of any human being. Yeah. Ninety-eight point seven six percent of the time, no lisp. Random one word in a whole fucking sentence full of S's. Yeah. Just that word. Get a little and then it's gone. A little tongue tied. I don't know, dude. I think you're slipping in and out of something weird. You know yeah. I mean? It's like a, a brain, CT. Like a yeah. brain thing. Dude, okay. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I don't have COVID. I tested myself three times. I do have a cold, and I'm fucking chalked. Ricky thought. Ricky told me I had COVID, and I was like, she's like, everybody traveling is getting COVID right now. Mm-hmm. And I was like, shit, you're right. Everybody is. As we just traveled I know. to multiple states. Yeah. And Rick, my sister has COVID. Hadn't seen her or anything, but she yeah. has COVID. Well, she was with my mom and dad. They were moving her boyfriend. Mm. So she had COVID the whole day they were moving. Yeah. Tested positive on the day. Got a question about that, but I'll come back to it. Okay. Yeah. So tested positive on the day, right? Yeah. So I told my mom, hey, you guys can't come around holding in Luna. Obviously. Because mm-hmm. you've, like, we know we're 100% aware and sure that you have been exposed to COVID. Yeah. And now listen, before everybody in the comments goes, it's just a cold. I get that. I I'm not making an argument as to how He's severe it is. He's also had it seven times. So it's <laughs> I think I've just- only had it once, but Luna's never had it still. Mm-hmm. And Holden's had maybe had it once. We had like a weird hit or miss with some test and shit. Come to find out, we're not the same generation as our parents were really like, hey, Timmy down the blocks got chicken pox. Yeah. Why don't you go Let's play have a that? party? And then they were like, oh, by the way, shingles, fucking terrible. Mm-hmm. So good luck with that later in life if you get it. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. So now... I was just like, hey, it's just simple. If she gets COVID, she can't go to preschool. Yeah. If Holden gets COVID, he can't go to school. He can't go to football. He can't do yeah. it. Like, they just can't do the things. So, like, let's just, why would you, listen, if they had the flu and we knew they had the flu, you still wouldn't see them. It's the same. We're yeah. interacting in the same manner. My mom gets super, my mom never gets, like, truly mad at me, right? Oh, really? Really mad at me. Tracy went hard, huh? Really mad at me. She goes, I'm not going to, I because I go, you can't watch the kids this week. She loves you. We got to give it a little time here. Just give it a couple few days yeah. here. Make sure you're good. She goes, I'm not going to get it. And I go, my f- only that's how sickness has worked. Yeah. Um. Now, my mom is stubborn enough that her immune system ate it and she never got it. 
somehow. So she now technically was right. Well, it's her third time, so <laughs> her body knows how to deal with it. Well, the problem is she'll never take a test, right? So she's probably had COVID 74 times and never known it. Twice for sure. Ever. Twice yeah. Sure. Twice probably for sure. And so every time she gets, sure. she had a cough for literally seven months and she goes, I've never had COVID. And I Just go, walking pneumonia. You had long term COVID, mom. You're tired all the time. You've been coughing like a f- smoker. You're like, mm. but anyways. So, of course, she never gets it. Well, while we're in Kentucky, Ricky's alone. No daycare. No sport. No. Holden has football every night, school every yep. day. Luna has nothing because she's still on summer break. Yeah. So, Ricky's full-blown solo. No no Nana. No Papa. It was wild. Ricky's a fucking superhero. That was crazy. I'm I was, surprised you're still alive. I was texting actually. her. She was cool with it. Yeah. She, she doesn't get, you know, you know how she is. She doesn't get like, she doesn't get mad about that yeah. shit. In, in, raising your children. Yeah. Well, yeah. But still, at some point, there's a breaking point like, yeah. hey, motherfucker, I know you're out there having fun with your yeah. buddies, and I'm in the No, she was, she's super cool. That's I'm lucky about that part of our relationship your for sure. Your kids are also a little bit older now. Like, Holden's a little bit more self-sufficient. Oh, he's you, huh? Boy, he's got football every night. Oh. And I mean, she's that's, got that's Luna every day. Mean, like, Luna, like, needs constant. Luna needs she, constant too. interaction. Yeah, yeah, So... So, Ricky was having to take Luna to Holden's football practice. Mm. And then, like, you got two hours. Yep. You need to entertain her in a fucking field for two hours. Yeah. Uh, just nightmare shit. Ricky was fully exhausted. Finally, on Thursday, my mom's like, am I allowed to see the kids yet? Never gets... She's fucking pissed, dude. Swear to God. She, uh, this is probably the closest my mom's ever been to swearing at me ever oh, in I'd my life. Oh, I'd love to see it. Record it, please. She, we're on the phone. I'm not going to argue with you, Dan. Do you have anything else to say? Like oh, that. She's real oh, mad. for real mad. Never in my life, I think... I'm sure she's been, like, annoyed or disappointed, yeah. but she's... Fit, like. I've never heard she, Tracy shook like that. She called the kids and goes, yeah, your dad says I can't <laughs> see you on speaker. She knows I can hear it. Yeah. It's crazy. But anyways... Kentucky was a great trip. Ball in time. Just had to give Ricky a shout out for um, solo parent. That trip of uh, like probably one of, I think, the best trips we've ever had because of the company we had with us, the opportunities that were afforded to yeah. us in it. Um, overall, just a fantastic time. The most baller trip of our lives. We'll never, nope. never like, like that's nope. flying too close to the sun. Type Literally, stuff. some would and say our wax wings melted and we're yeah. going to crash and burn yeah. after that forever and for always. Yeah, no, we'll never have another trip like that. Mm. Um, listen, I feel like we've had, we've been fortunate enough because of the relationships and people and friends. Yeah, that we've had some really great Kentucky trips. We have that are work based trips, and then you know, intermittent. We have fun while we're doing the work things. So. Usually at this point when we go on trips, try and schedule out two pick. Like usually we have a pick to go do, yeah. and then it's like let's see if we can add something else. If we can do two picks, it usually helps pay for the. It trip, comes down basically. to just like be efficient with time. Yeah. Like if we're already down there, we might as well do something as much as we can. That like it's just being efficient and financially. Yeah. It's easier to make the trip worth the cost if yeah. there's two things that yeah, we, we do, do while two we're trips, there. Three trips, four or four picks or whatever, yeah, whatever. in the same week yeah. is that we're only doing one and like yeah. cost balance on that. So um we did an RD one pick. We Oof. so it, it worked out great because a group of our friends from different parts of the country, but a lot of people know their names um around the channel. Yeah. But a group of our friends were planning a Kentucky trip and I like that we were in the we were in a we were in a little chat thing and I was like, listen, I Sean and I have stuff to do. I can't plan this all around your guys' schedules, but I'll plan it. And if you guys want to come, that's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it did line up very, it lined very up well yeah. because the, it was the same day, all, in, in the same week that they were going down there for vacation. It didn't? They changed all of it because of those plans. Oh, I didn't know that. None of them could go. Everybody wanted to go in October. Oh. And I said, I can't do October. Sorry, yeah, no, boys. Can't. And so I was like, that, that's when I said, like, November is pretty much booked. Sean and I are going to have some. Shocked. Yes. Yeah. I was like, Sean and I are going to have. Sean and I have to go do a pig in Kentucky. Yeah. I'll try to schedule another one, but I'm not. I got to schedule around our shit. It's just got to work that I way. I thought it was scheduled that way. No, my bad. I it thought was, it was scheduled that uh-uh. way because of the, the name of the group and no, stuff. Because nope. it was like the week they were he going. He changed it. Didn't yeah. I they all wanted to go in October. So, so yeah. which is fine. Listen, I mean, if we, we just had shit. We yeah. already have plans and a little bit of plans in December and some other stuff. Listen, little they had plans way in more November. fun with us there. Well, that and that's yeah. but I, well, I wanted to. What's cool is like we are provided the ability to offer experiences you can't just go have because of the channel. Yes, which is cool. So yeah. if we can bring people on those experiences with us, then we can 
pass those experiences on to other people, which they couldn't have had maybe unless they knew another person in the industry or doing picks or something um, like that. I'll say right it's now, really there, cool. there will be a video out of the trip at some point yeah. on the channel. Next but, two um, weeks or so. Yeah, yeah. Like day or like the first two days we're at the Swepsons um, in Kentucky. Damn, dude. That's a ball and ass place. If you, if you need somewhere to stay in Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. Louisville. If you need somewhere to stay in Louisville, the Check Swepson guest house yeah. was super cool. I love and when you so we had to look it up while we were there. I love that when you go to rent it, you can rent individual portions of it yep. or a chunk. I love that because they the 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 second floor was like mirrored, so they were had like um what was it five and five or six something and six, like that something like rooms, that on bedrooms yeah. that you can do. Um, that was super cool. The third floor was just a hangout party room. Yeah. Like if you bachelor were doing a pad. bachelor or like a, a bachelor party yeah. down in like Louisville, you want to hit up uh, Main Street. Dude. It's really close to downtown. Dude, it's like, really close to Whiskey Row. That is a super super cool place. Yeah, because like it's just wide open. Yeah, there were three bedrooms upstairs. Yep, and a huge table. Just a giant full kitchen. Place. We sat down awesome. one night and just sat on the couch and watched TV. Yeah, there's a patio out outside on yeah. each floor where you can go smoke cigars. There's mm -hmm. cornhole down outside. It's really cool. So we got to hang out one day. Like everyone yeah. got in one night. We yeah. just went out, had good food, good drinks. Um, next day was RD1. Yep. That was super fun. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Chris and Sydney yeah. for having us there that day. That was a super cool time. That was really cool. And they fed us Very pizza. unique experience. Giant pizza. Giant pizza. Good um, fellas. And then very unique pick experience at RD1 because they're going to run their program differently than a lot of people, Yeah, which is cool because it creates... They're actually... It's, it's mimic. Unique. They're getting closer to like um, High West previous barrel program. Oh, yeah. All the different all finishes and stuff, all the, yeah. you know, and the, which is great because that was, I think, like one of the more beloved, maybe not the most sought after, but the more beloved programs yeah, before they changed for us, it. For sure. Yeah. And so RD1's doing that where they're unique finishing and stuff. We ended up picking a uh i don't know if we're allowed to say where it's from but we ended up picking a bourbon yeah kentucky bourbon about six years old i believe six years three months and I then think. it and was then finished be, yes with um red oak red oak which um, is wild so they do uh little squares and they're on like a, a steel cable yeah and they drop it down in and that's like on the bung is the the base of that it'll seal up the barrel and then they've just got that down in there working. Um, we got to try really some cool wild stuff that day. Really cool. We got to try the RD one Umber on it barrel proof. Yeah, fucking monster. It is. I swear on bad. my life right now. I would rather have the lower proof. You like the low? That makes I, sense. I love the core. I'm I uh, out of the core four. <laughs> I'd rather have the Umber on a um at core than yeah. barrel strength. Because I believe that for you. Like barrel strength is Umber on a. Yeah. The the one tens not the yeah. one tens is like a nice ease into. That barrel proof Ambarana, I swear to Jesus, if RD1 ever releases a barrel proof Ambarana in a glass bottle that's buyable by consumers, and Chris doesn't message me and just give me at least a heads up, yeah, I'm gonna be There's hurt. A little bit left, you can I'm gonna be hurt, dude. Um, that yeah, is a I think it's better than Rio, and that's saying a lot because I love Rio a lot. And then we did Old Pepper. That was really cool. Oh, dude. I have some shit to say about Old Pepper, though. I am intrigued on that. It's not. Uh, well, before. Friendly. Okay. Bef okay. Before you go there. And then yeah. we went to that really cool bar um, that is in the same districts as Old Pepper, um, like right down the Wise road. guys. Wise guys. Um, that's where I got to try the 19 year Willet from top five that for me. Ryan had. I've determined it. That, top five. That might be up there. Top five for me ever. One of the best whiskeys ever had. Ever. As a top five ever. Yeah. That, yeah, number one Michter celebration. Period. Haven't had it. Let me tell you, <laughs> fucking incredible. Okay. Number so I think when you find whiskeys that there's nothing wrong with. Yeah. Those become the top fives, right? Yeah. That's the 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 whiskeys that are just perfect. You don't drink it and go, I wish X or man, if only. There's none of that. You drank it went what like whoa, Michter celebration. A King of Kentucky release would be Fair. a top five. I don't know which one. I'm not I putting do. a name on it. Which one? 18? The one that Zach Raymer shared with us. The 18. Yeah. 18 year. Um, I didn't want to say that because I was like, ah, man, I wish I could remember. I wish that was a different setting. Yeah. That would have been a beautiful thing in a different setting. Oh, I remember it. I got that one early in the night. You, had a, went, you got it at a good time is what you're saying. Motherfucker. That's fair. <sighs> um, shit's built different. Those two. Michter's, that's my number one. That's number one. Yeah. Michter's 25 is Probably a is. 
is around third somewhere. This will it 19 year old purple top that competes with 25 for me. Um, He knew he had a bottle at one point, which is so wild. Elvis did that. Okay. So they call me down. We're sitting at different ends of this bar. Wise guys has a really cool selection, dude. Awesome. Great selection. And they had that. The, that's where we got the pizza from. With yeah. Wise guys. That piece I ate was more. phenomenal. Because I went and got some more. That oh, we got, I I ate a piece of um Zach's uh, breadstick. Yeah, really good. I went and got pizza and breadstick while we were there. But anyways, I didn't eat enough RD one, and that's on me. It's we nobody's ate fault. Four went RD one too. I know, and I think that's why I think I hit a weird lull where um, I was like a little hung, kind of. I don't want to oh, not I eat. I had a great like food level the, the whole, whole time. trip. Damn, dude, it was great. I fucked that up a little bit. I think that's why like. Um, I just had such an enjoyable trip because yeah. I was always full the whole way through. <laughs> just and never like, dude, hangry, never I, fucking. I, I realized it was like, man, I need to eat more when sure. we do these trips because like we get in those weird lulls where yeah. you drink too much. I'd like to enough. tell you, me and Elvez have told you that 13 times. It's fine. On every trip we go, hey, buddy, make sure you eat. I don't eat breakfast. I'm not hungry. Whatever. So on and so forth. Yeah. Listen, I get it. Some people aren't breakfast people. Yeah. I get that 100%. I, cha- I changed my life philosophy. But yeah. the problem, the nice part about it is you have like a heavy, like a fucking bready breakfast or carb filled breakfast. You go to the first pick or whatever in the day and you're like, I feel great. Yeah. I feel I, I'm still operating. Yeah. I'm still great. Anyways, we, so, we pulled this guy on down dude, because Ryan goes, hey, I'm about to order this and we're going to share it. I had like two drinks up. So, well, you gotta, we got to realize with Elvez too, people don't know this. Yeah. Elvez is a crazy person, also a genius. I don't know the last time we've been at a bar mm-hmm. and I've seen him get excited about a oh, pour that they had. Yeah. And in my mind, I go, this is about to be crazy. Yeah. It's 19 year will it first off. It's going to be crazy. And, and Elvez and is excited. Goes, Can I see the bottle? Pull it down and he goes, oh, that's the number. Go, There's no what? way. He that's goes, so wild. He goes, that's the number. He goes, we're getting some of that. Like $250. Pour. Because he owned it. Got because it. he owned the bottle at yeah. one point. And uh, he goes, you got to try this. I was like, what the fuck is that? What it, is that? What so is that? The thing, what makes Ryan well, different about this stuff is you see a lot of people like pour, you know, in, in one ounce of whiskey into a glass mm-hmm. and then they take a little tiny sip. Right. And then mm-hmm. basically that sip is enough to like, let's say, coat your tongue and roof your yeah. mouth. Alves disagrees with this philosophy yeah. with his whole being. He'll do a half ounce and he, yeah. on the first drink and be like. He says you don't Chewed even around. you can't even taste it if you don't do mm. that. He yeah. says that like you don't even know what it tastes like. I was taking those little mouse sips yeah. off of it because I was like, "Oh, that's amazing, yeah. sir!" And it costs a fortune, and yeah. I want to drink all your whiskey. Yeah. So I walk. So Ryan and Sean are sitting down there drinking it. They're like, "Hey, come down here real quick." I come down there, and he just goes, "Try that." And mind you, now here's the thing: I do a little bit wish it was blind because that was the intended goal. But she still had the bottle sitting right in front of you guys. Yeah. And I'm like. They're not a lot you go, of bottles. What is that? They're, you're like, mm. they're not a lot of bottles that you guys would ask me to come down and be like, you got to drink this. Yeah. And Ryan goes, don't drink all of it, but you need to take a good swig. That's what he said. Damn, because could, dude, I, I like that if, if you I had pressed on it, could you just like shot it like an asshole? I owe him two hundred dollars. I just immediately owe him two hundred bucks. Do you know what I mean? Two fifty. No, but he, he <laughs> you know, you guys split fifty bucks or whatever. But but it that, had six uh, sixteen cents worth, like, <laughs> dude. That whiskey was perfect. Yeah, it was. It wasn't too hot. It was full of flavor. It was <sighs> the best flavors, and it was unique. It, it was every single thing in a phenomenal. whiskey that ever needs to and happen. It was like one hundred and twenty proof too. So it, it was, was like perfect, it was, dude. It was a little warm, but it was perfect. But in the best way. Oh, I, I when like, I had it, I'm like, I I took that one drink, and I was just sitting there. I'm like, I don't. That that's just one of those. There are life changing whiskeys. There's not a lot of them. There's some. We aren't huge Willet fans either. Just not that anything's wrong with it. We just Mm. generally don't. That's not our flavor profile. That whiskey was literally perfect. It was amazing. It was perfect. There was just nothing Um, wrong with it. So then we did that. Uh, We went back to the Swepsons that night. Yeah. Uh, Next day we flip over. We uh, we go do Green River. Yep. Holy shit, dude. PJ ate it. Um, we PJ'd it. What does that mean? We PJ'd it to Green River. We private jetted it. Yeah. Um, we PJ'd to Green fucking River, dude. In the most generous thing I've ever heard of in my life, Chris offered <laughs> RD1, their Chris. private jet, uh, yeah, from RD1, to take us from Louisville uh, out to Owensboro. To save us five hours of driving. Because it, hey, well, yeah, he goes, it's two and a half hours each way. Um, I would like to make this pick really special for you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. We'll do this for you. And we're like, I don't I think you have to. And listen, uh, you can't offer me a private jet because I'm going to say yes. That's what happened. He offered, and I go, 
I, I got some pictures. We can't I'll say th- no. I'll throw them up on the screen of what it looked like. Um, small eight person jet. Uh, we roll in late. The most jacked pilot I've ever seen. I looked at the email wrong and it said Louisville Airport. So I said, all right, we're going to Louisville Airport. And it, then if you keep reading, it says this Louisville Airport is technically in Indiana. <laughs> and I go, oh shit, we're at the wrong airport. So we go to the right <laughs> airport. We're a couple minutes late. Everyone got there. Not weird. Really quick. I just like to set the record straight. Elvez and me are there on time. That's true. Sean and Luke are a little late. Yeah. As is Rob... Andrew and CJ. Yeah. Now that being said, best part about private jets, I can't miss your flight. One of the most beautiful man's hands Dude. in the world. And he said, "My name's Chandler. I'll be your pilot today." Dan came out and goes, "Hey, our pilot, six five, two hundred sixty pounds, shredded, jacked." You want to talk? We had an argument about jacked, jacked, man's jacked. Dude's jacked. I walk in, shook his hand, and go, "I think you undersold him." Yeah, and he goes, "How did I do that?" I go, "I don't know, but I think you did." Dude, I I literally I said six five, jacked, gorgeous. That's he what I said. Legitimately All those looks like uh, the guy that plays Jack Reacher on the the Prime series. Like I didn't, I haven't watched that. That but that's guy what you is said. way bigger. Like he's probably like two seventy five, sure. two eighty five, pure muscle and steroids. Um, Chandler was like, "Damn." If Chandler didn't play D1 ball somewhere, I'd be Some, surprised. Yeah, 100%. I'd be very surprised. 100%. He's built like a D1 ball His player. His arm was bigger than my leg. Yeah. 100%. His tricep had striations. I, yeah. It was just built different shit, dude. Got to fly on down Flies Owensboro. private jets for a living, by the way. Yep. Flew down to Owensboro. Fantastic time. Ubered. Almost um, died. To the exact same location that they were actually eating. I the, almost died. Everybody else was uh, safe. The, the pilots were at um, the same barbecue joint that we went to. Yeah. Um. I don't even Dan know what that place was called. Died. Yep. I don't remember what it is either. I got sick on the private jet. Okay. The, you you know what? the wrong seat. No. Fucking Luke tricked me. He poisoned me, dude. Luke. Okay. This is what happened. Good. I went downtown, go to hit Mictors with mm. a few of the boys that morning. Went there. Sean was sleeping. Luke stayed back at the uh, Swepson. Which I worked had, out actually really good. Yeah, it worked out. We got to pack everything out. Yeah. And so we were supposed to be out by 11. Sean and Luke grabbed my shit out of my room. And so, and I didn't know that you guys, I knew that you guys had taken off. I just know, didn't know you grabbed my shit. Yeah. And so I, I, I drove thought that back. was going to be obvious because I messaged you and it said, hey, they're kicking us out right now yeah. or something like that. Sure. Because like, um, was it Andrew uh, from the Swepson? Was that who, who our contact yes. was? Andrew? Um, him and someone else and like the cleaning lady started walking in. Yeah. Um, so I was like, hey, I'll be out here in like five minutes. Sure. So like, I was like, hey, they're like kicking us yeah, out yeah. or like cleaning's here or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I, I think you said cleaning here. We're going to the airport. Wasn't going to leave your stuff there. Well, so I... Because I even asked and you said all my stuff is packed in yeah. one of the, the little clips. Yeah. I was like, here's Dan's packed shit. <laughs> There's shoes sitting next to your suitcase. <laughs> wide open. Suitcase was open. There's still stuff up on like, the open. nightstand The camera, stuff. Yeah. like one thing. And like, there's Dan's packed Okay, room. it was, okay, well now here's the thing. You don't have context of pre-packed. Pre-packed looked like, yes, pre-packed looked like <laughs> somebody put the, the, who's the NASA guy on YouTube, the famous guy? Does Neil the DeGrasse glitter Tyson? bombs? No, the glitter bomb oh, guy. Oh, um, Mark. Uh, it looked like Mark put a glitter bomb in my luggage, buddy. Like my room looked like I had gotten naked several Mark times Rover? on purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like an excitement. Jesus. Like ev- there was a great little room. Clothes too. everywhere. I didn't realize you had a little bathroom tucked back around. Yeah, that's just, a beautiful bathroom. Nick took the other master. Yeah, I took that master. We all got there early. It was yeah. great. But so my drama. I mean, I thought I got a hell of a room. Then I saw your like shower set up. Yeah. That's why I was giving you shit when we were upstairs because I was like, I already got a baller ass fucking room. And I was giving Sean shit. Yeah, Anyways, what the hell? <laughs> I'd already had a fucking sweet room. <laughs> Let me look back on this. What the hell? <laughs> the I knew Drammy was in the front pocket of my green bag. I knew that for a fact. And I we knew were at the airport that I would need it for the private jet. I was talking to Dan, and he goes, "Hey, grab my Dramamine. And I go, "Luke, just double back." He said he needs to get his motion sickness medicine. So I go, "Hey, will you grab one for Dan?" I assume Luke Dramamine. walks up to me and goes, "Here, dude. Now here's the thing." I am a Dramamine connoisseur, some would say. I have tried the Dramamine Sean enjoys. doesn't work for me. Mechlizine. I've tried the Dramamine that uh, the original is goaded. It just is. It'll knock you the fuck out, but it's literally goaded. Yep. It's the only cure to motion sickness in intermittent periods. So Luke walks up and hands me a package in which I've never felt with my fucking bare <laughs> hands, dude. It felt like a packaging for heartburn medication. So okay. I look at it and I go, what the fuck? I spin around and I see Dramamine non-drowsy and I go, shit. And mm. then I keep reading. It says ginger and I go, motherfucker, it's holistic. And I'm like, 
oh, listen, no offense to people who believe in holistic things working all the time. Some of them probably do. But Papa Bear over there needs a uh, hard drug. I I'd say it's like a two. It's a it's a two. It's one and a half to two Dramamines or throw up. Those oh, are your wow, options. Man. It is, and it's unfortunate. I don't enjoy it, but it is what it is, right? One knocks me out. <clears throat> I mean, literally, it, it, did la- it did later in the day right. because I was like, "Hey, man, like we've had a good amount of drinks and stuff. I'm and gonna, we've been I'm moving go- a lot. Yeah, we've been moving a lot. I was like, I think I should take one. Yeah. And that thing, I go, hey, man, it's gonna knock me out. And then yeah. later in the car, yeah. It did, and, but you know they do. That's why yeah. you take the non-drowsies usually. Yeah. Well, so Luke goes, I take two of them, so I take two. I get on the airplane. You should take seven. I, buddy, I needed, I, I don't even know Pain. how much ginger can ever help. It, so it, TLDR, you don't even have to Google it. I'll just tell you, <laughs> the ingredients list is one gram of ginger. That's it. It's a gram. It's ginger. There's no, there's no other fucking chem. There's nothing in it. So th- the problem is, is I know that like in these clinical studies, this has helped people. The problem is daddy wasn't in study, right? That you throw daddy in the study and put me in a spinny chair. And I'll vomit ginger onto your fucking face. Like, dude, this is bullshit. So I get on the Shout jet. Out. I get so fucking sick. Yeah. Um, we had a great time at the barbecue place. The jet Every- was fucking amazing though. Jet was amazing. Every, everything was super great at the, the barbecue place. Didn't realize Kentucky cornbread every now and then. It's a pancake. It's a fucking pancake. It's just a pancake. Yeah, I didn't like what that. What did it taste? I really wanted to taste it, but as you could see, yeah, things were happening. The problem happening. was I looked at it and I go, that's a pancake. So my brain goes, pancake. I, it has so to So did like it a taste pancake. like a pancake? Bready. I did like extra bready and I didn't like it. It tasted more pancake taste than corny? corny. Yeah. Did it taste like corn? No, no, bread, yeah, sweet like corn? a little bit, but like not like Jif, like the the yeah, sweet corn yeah, out of that, yeah, yeah. like that's sweeter. Yeah, um, it was more savory. I did not enjoy it that did much. Did you try it with butter on it? No, I wonder if butter would have saved it. Helped it. it. I've the had cornbread was where, fire though. Was it? Yeah, I've had cornbread where like no butter, not even worth eating. Yeah, with butter, that's pretty just solid. A desert. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. It just it turned into a grit. Yeah, it's a sandpaper. Thanks paper. for giving me a job yeah. while I'm eating that. Yeah, trying to fucking just sandblast down my mouth. A little bit. Yeah. yeah, thanks. That's awesome, dude. Uh, we had to Uber, obviously, yeah. from the airport. Again, shout out to Chris from RD One because, like, this is the thing that we're talking about. We'll never experience again. It was such a cool experience. Yeah. It's such a unique thing, and it just like made it very special. That was very mm. special. Like, it was really really cool. Mm. Elvis brought a fucking 15 year old dusty turkey tribute on the jet. I'm not even going to say it. It's, it's wild. My dude. favorite wild turkey dusty to ever exist. He brought crystal glens. Yep. Ryan's like, listen, we don't, we don't get to do this ever. We got to make it that cool. That man looked at me in so my cool. dumb face in the air and goes, want some whiskey? Go, you know I do, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know I do. But we get off the jet. We got an Uber. I'm feeling pretty woozy off the jet. I sat in a sideways seat, which was definitely part of me, part of what fucked me up. But, um, I don't Because honestly, weirdly, and I would never have guessed this, one of the smoothest plane rides I've ever had. A thousand percent. Like landing, butter yeah. on a mattress. Yeah. Takeoff, beautiful. G's were pretty wild yeah. on takeoff, though. They just go, at, at one point, my eyes went, uh, <laughs> like closing, dude. They just started fucking up. They're like, ah, this is, I don't know how the fuck j- real jet pilots do shit. Like, yeah. that's wild to me. But anyways, as we're sitting there. I liked it, though. I did like it. Well, it makes it your pushed dick you down a little bit it more. It makes your penis it, wiggle. I think it, um, hmm, I was going to say it leveled off my inner ear a bit more. Oh, that's interesting. So, like, I could see out there, like, that's what fucked me up. Yeah. It's like the one time we were making that hard bang. Mm. It was like, I can look straight down. I feel like we're going, like, yes. sideways. And we probably right are. And it's like, oh, that's messing me up. But my like, my inner ear is fine in here. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't pop fifty times. Right. The I don't like, think we go as high either, right? And short flight. Short no, flight. I think we looked it up. It was like, um, it is. It, you don't go as high. I think it was like twenty five thousand feet. Or What's something. a normal plane? Uh, I think airliners go up to like thirty thousand. Oh, plus. so it's pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Way closer than I would have expected. Yeah, but I can go up buildings and my ears are pop. That's like, fair. yeah, that. that's fair. Yeah, your ears are fucked. But I get off. We get the Uber. Woman, <laughs> I uh, like how you're like, yeah, your ears are fucked, man. They are. And you're the person yeah. vomiting yeah. behind a building. That's true. The fluid in mine's <laughs> fucked. Um, but we get off the jet. I can't eat. I'm laying in the lawn like a fucking homeless person outside in Owensboro, which is like, yeah. I don't even think Owensboro has a homeless person. I was the first one there. And I'm laying outside. I The Walk Uber, the CVS, the Uber some- driver. Yeah, dude, I fucking went on a tour of the city on my feet. The Uber driver... We're almost there. We're about to pull in the parking lot. And I'm, I'm, I, as soon as I got in, I go, Hey, you mind me having the window down? She goes, no, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, 
cool for both of us. Because if you say no, I'm going to vomit in your car. Yeah, I need a place to. And uh, it rides great. No fucking, no sudden stops, no nothing. We're just, we're driving. And we need to be in this turning lane. And there's a car in the turning lane trying to get in the right lane. All we need to do is switch with this car. She gets, instead of getting over and slowing down, she fucking emergency brakes in the f- driving lane. And then, like, she didn't honk. She, like, put her blinker on so this person would get over. Then she got over and went. As soon as she emergency braked, I went, that was it. I'm 100% sure. Dan walked out of that Uber, handed me the camera and says, ah, you need to take this sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah. And I go, oh, no. I walked as far as I could walk, which is about 40 feet, and I vomited all over the grass. Coming. All over the grass. And then I went in and tried to eat because I felt great after the vomit, honestly. Yeah. Um, went and got a new shirt. I was a mess. Sweat through that one. Yeah, oh, dude, fair. it was. I could have rang out the back of it. Yeah. And then went and got a new shirt. Went and got a lion shirt. Shout out, fucking! I'm the reason they won. And then um, went into the restaurant, ate one piece of. I, oh, I ate a pickle, like a slice. Yeah. My body went. Hey, buddy, remember where we were just at? Don't do oh, that. I remember you like. I went back outside and laid in the grass yeah. the whole time because I'm like, my, I'm so dizzy still yeah. that I can't recover. 16 Meclizine or Dramamine deep. Yep. Then I, well, that I walked to the store, bought Dramamine, took two right just yeah. on the spot. Took two. So we eventually got to where we were going. To Green River. Yeah, we got to Green River. And Huge. Um, that that Huge. one almost, that guy made me almost sick. Your driver. Luke almost got me. He goes, shotgun, sat in the front. Damn. All right, cool, man. After like, tricking me with ginger. I go, it won't be bad. Luke tricked I, both of us. I dude. looked at it, I go, That's crazy. short trip, we won't be bad. Jump we were in. close. Um it's like 10 it minutes. It's a couple minutes, yeah. yeah. And uh the guy had didn't the AC not running. I was like, all right, I like a little warmth. We're good. The train tracks just before we got there, like, you know how we almost sent Rich to the yeah. hospital on the way to R D one? One of the funniest things ever. We can circle we can, back. Yeah, we can. We can circle back. That guy, it felt like he did it in this little car. And go, nope, good. Roll yeah. the window. Dude, these flies are fucking Everywhere. killing me. Roll the window down. He goes, do you want me to turn the AC on? I go, I'm good with this if you are. Because it was like, I just need a fresh air. You need, the, you need the physical yeah. feeling. You need like a, the blowing, the forced air. <sighs> and what it you was need. like, I, I just got to calm down, calm down, calm down. Eventually, it was like very, like we slowed down. We're doing like two miles an hour. It's like, I'm good. I'm yep. good. We got there and you jump out. And I just look at Dan pale i was like this is, is this about, at green river yeah i, I was go, just dead this is about to not be a good time Shout out to dead. carol karen karen the, here's sorry. the thing me and karen are literally the karen she with might hate that's me. what it was that's we might, why but I, we're the best friends of all time yeah. this is the problem with it is is just because where we were at and then we had to uber again we got off the jet yep. i was sick got into uber got sicker yep uber over to there wasn't as bad but i was already so sick and now there's only one actual resolution and it's taking, it's, it's sleeping. You have to sleep and then your equilibrium resets. Yeah. Everybody always tells me, try this, try this, try this. I go, I've done this for 34 yeah. years. She I've tried tr- to help. One time a dude talked me into S and his D told me to fix it. Did it twice. Still vomiting. She used to be an EMT. She tried to help. She did. She was um, amazing. Yeah. She was super kind. She's the best. Um, but she didn't know you were motion. She, sick. she just thought life. you were nauseous, um, like nauseous. Yeah. yeah. So she gave me some, um, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, alcohol wipes yeah. and she goes if you smell them they help with nausea and so honestly it does seem like they helped with nausea the problem was is my head so swimmy that it just got yeah, nauseous you were again. still going just got Ooh. sick again yep. we get there i'm looking up cars to drive back my problem is is dan at one point in time looked at me and said if i get back on that plane i will vomit for three days yeah i will i i know i've All been right. sick and then gotten sicker and what happens is when I get motion sick to the extent in which I'm going to vomit, and I vomited, when I, if I get motion sick to that extent, and then I get back into a motion sickness situation, this becomes a, a prolonged experience of yep. like vertigo almost. Yep. It's, it like translates to vertigo. It's like where there's like not full blown AIDS. It oh. translates <laughs> to full blown, dude. And so, anyways, <laughs> she stuck him up in what will eventually be the new pick room. So there's a nice Sweet like couch room. in there. So cool. Oh yeah, we got the tour it later. It was super so cool. cool. So Dan laid down. We went and did the tour. Took my shoes off. Super cool place. Took I didn't nap. realize how much history is at Green River. Yeah, I mean it's the tenth oldest distillery. Real history tenth distillery in Kentucky. Yeah, like super very cool real cool history. Yeah. It definitely looks like a, that Bardstown money is getting uh, some new things going on. And right I now. love that. A lot of construction going yeah. on. They have a, uh, it's like clay brick, brick houses. Yeah. 
So they, the old ones. Yeah, yeah. So they have um, a really cool constant temperature. We sat out there. I mean, it was 85 out yeah. maybe or so. It was warm. Yeah, it was. But we sat inside of there and like there was a nice breeze yeah. through. No one, like we've been in Rick House when it's warm. Yes. Got like, and usually it's worse in the Rick yeah, House than dude, it is out. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, awesome time there. I That is one of my favorite picks we've done in a long time, it feels like. So because we had different experiences. I, on a straight bourbon, I'll say too. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Well, because we had different, my part of my problem was I felt so bad because this is a really cool day. Everybody that's with us has never experienced almost any of the things we're experiencing. I'm in we're, the same group. Yeah. We're with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. like, so the private jet, we're with a distillery who, you know, took everybody to lunch, mm -hmm. who's like trying to make sure everybody has a good time. Yeah. Give like none of us, nobody on that trip had been to Green River. I don't think no. Ryan's ever been no, to Green River. Not. And so nobody had been there. And then I'm sick. And I'm like, this is fucking ruining it for other people. And like, I can't just fucking fix it. Like, I can't just yeah. be like, I'm not sick, guys. I'm okay. Yep. Because I'm dying. I'm going to die. I'm going to yeah. die any moment. This is the end of my life. This is it. It's at Green <laughs> River. So when Karen was like, you can come up here. She's like, because I told her, I'm like, I just, Ryan went and grabbed her. Because I told Ryan, I'm like, I have to drive back. I cannot yeah. get on a jet. Because me sitting here is not going to resolve the problem. And I told you, I'm like, I need a nap. Yeah. But there's nowhere to fucking nap. Yeah, he went and told her. He was like, hey, he, he, do you guys have any place you can sleep? I was like, yeah. She, because she was saying he's looking up places to drive right now. I was like, do you guys have any place you can crash? Yeah. And so, they were like, she talking. took me that conference room. Yeah. So cool. And she looked at us and goes, I got the place for yeah. him. And like, that was the, she the, put the me up. I took a 30, 45 minute nap, woke up, resets everything, walked downstairs. The hospitality, like every employee there, mind you, we've been to stores where like a lot of the staff's cool. Yeah. But generally, like, you're picked person's cool yeah. single barrel program person's yeah. cool and then like the um employees at the gift shop don't give a shit that you're there yeah. right for the most part yeah so like when this doesn't pan out we're going to work at a distillery somewhere. yeah right. i mean I exactly am. i'm gonna yeah. go be happy about my life yeah. at least i'm just gonna be a brand ambassador somewhere oh nice like fuck it right Solid. or like a single barrel program manager yeah. those are the That's moves for sure yeah. yeah and so i'm sitting there and i'm like um i walk downstairs guy behind the bar who i had not spoke to goes you feeling better and I go, yeah. I'm feeling a little bit better for sure. He goes, I get you a ginger ale or something. I'm like, that would be awesome. Gives me a ginger ale. And hey, I go, wait. hey, we're, um, no, it was, uh, I think it was a Canadian mist or something. Oh. But I was like, it wasn't an ale because that's yeah. what I was expecting. But he's like, hey, let me, uh, I said, where are they at? And he goes, they're still in the Rick House. Let's run out there real quick. Yeah. This, I never talked to, like, this guy was now involved and like was genuinely like happy that I wasn't sick anymore. Yeah. It was so cool to see like I, everybody there was like, you're feeling better, you know, whatever. Get out there. You guys had already done the pick. Still in the Rick house. Walk up. You hand me two glasses and you say, we picked one of these. Yep. I smelled the first one. I go, I don't give a fuck what the second one is. Uh, like, because if this is one of the two, mm -hmm. holy shit, dude. I and Sean and I had discussed this off the record. We had discussed this. <laughs> I was nervous that yeah. like, listen, we've been to distilleries that we liked their whiskey and not loved every option that we tasted. 100%. And the concern with new single barrel programs are sometimes are you going to give us like four year old whiskey that you wouldn't put in a bottle? Mm -hmm. You know, we went to green river three and the third and fourth sample, the two that you handed me. I literally mind you, I had just been motion sick. I took a sip of the third one. I was like, holy shit. Took a sip of the fourth one. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're both absolutely phenomenal. Yep. Then I drank all of the three and fours yeah, that were did. left basically that yeah. I was allowed to touch. Yep. And I was like, I walked around. Karen then regave me a tour, mm -hmm. which she did not have to do at yep. all. Regave me a tour while I carried number Whiskey. three or four yeah. around and drank it the whole dude. It was fucking honestly, I am a hundred percent on board with you on the, I'm trying to like my last favorite that this green river would be like, I would go there whenever they said we were allowed to be there. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Uh, it was phenomenal. Everyone there was phenomenal. Um, Overall, like super solid, man. Like we, our Green River pick had, is yeah. a fucking hitter. it's a monster, dude. It is. It's so um, good. It's that, almost seven years old. It will be probably like six, six nine or six ten. Yeah, when um, it's when bottled. It's uh, bottled. Me. It's so good, dude. They said it's one of the oldest picks to come out of Green River. They said it will be the oldest Green River bottled. Yeah, when it's bottled. Yeah. How about this though? That pick experience was the first time. 
that I'm like, we have to source Green River. They had um, so they were talking about uh, like the the knee knockers and stuff. Like there, it was like the people would walk around at like lunch and stuff, and okay. like you just like hit the the barrel, and it would knock a little bit, and then people would take a little sample out of her. Wait, like, wait, wait, what? what? Okay, yeah. I didn't hear this part. Um, it was some guy that had worked. Uh, that Karen was uh, telling the story. Okay. It was like what knee knockers were and stuff. Is so, that like people would walk around and like nudge the barrels with their their knees. Okay, and to see them, how full they were. Yeah, and if they're full, you take them all out. Are you serious? And they'd carry like little flasks and stuff, and they'd just fill up their stuff with it. Really? Yeah. So the the table that we did the um. The pick on was old, like landing was tables the bodies for the barrels. of the knee knockers. No, nope. oh, okay. So it was like a barrel landing table. So they would uh, put the barrels on there to like raise them up to put them into the ricks and stuff. Oh, that's how they fucking do that. Yeah, shit. That when what you go, I think they get them in there. Well, when you go into rick houses, you see how little oh, space fair. there that's is, fair. That's right? Fair. Yeah, like okay, especially now that we own a fork truck. You're like, okay, you these, drive a fork these operate a pretty though. tight, yeah. but then you go to Rick House, you go, what the fuck? That's yeah. 10 stories or whatever it is. And you're like looking up there and there's just barrels up there and you're like, that's pretty wild, but you'd, I, I'd never like put together yep. I haven't spent a lot of time. It's not building the pyramids, but it, it is one of those things where you're like, holy shit, those are f- high in um, the air. I think Wes and Karen are the <clears throat> ones that pulled our samples. Okay. Those two. Um, All Kelvin barrels. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Like I do feel like there was a red carpet there. Yeah. They let me take a nap. Yeah. I told, when we were walking around, I go, I'm going to be honest, didn't plan on taking a nap today at a distillery. And then the guy that walked me out back to the Rick house, he goes, I'm going to be honest, not the weirdest thing that's ever happened here. And I go, I appreciate that. We, okay, so after that, fantastic time. Yeah, um, amazing. 100% love Green River. If you guys get a chance, go there. Fantastic. They yeah. have awesome, awesome experience. Um, Buy their picks. Where we do you fly see back, them? land. Didn't and- get sick. Didn't get sick. Nailed you had to it. sit in the back on the wings Way with me. Way better, dude. Facing forward. Yeah. Facing forward. I sat there. I Because I looked at the, like, I got on, and I was like, backwards facing seat all yeah. the way to the back. That's me. Um, Backward facing, I would have literally died. Oh, I don't think I would have made it either. I think I would have actually just. Backwards <laughs> facing on top would have really been enough. Um, but we fly back. Uh, land. We went to the murder ranch. No. We landed in Ryan. We we had, had a uh, private bus night. for yeah, us. We that was the night that we had the so, bus. This trip is so out of touch and unrealistic. Yeah, like it's just like we we said this earlier, but just the most non ever remember again. the name of the place we went for dinner. No, me either. And I spent Far, some money there near Bardstown, and it's in a barn. Yeah, and all the stalls are different rooms, and then the middle of the. Uh, barn it has different tables too. It was really gorgeous. Cool. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, <clears throat> what was really great is Ryan loves food. Mm-hmm. Ryan's a foodie, yeah. some would say. So he looked down the table, and goes, "Anyone got any allergies?" No. He goes, "You mind if I just order?" Yeah. I'm like, "Go ahead, buddy." Every time, just you go ahead and you yep. just we'll pass plates around. It yep. was like almost tapas style. You just pass plates around. And you, yep. Oh, every so every time we go, so the guys were trying to plan out. So we knew we had already one pick and a Green River pick. And the guys were trying to plan out like dinners and stuff. And I was like, like, please stop trying to plan dinners. I'm going to hit Ryan up for one of them. Yep. Because every time we go, Ryan just takes us somewhere cool to eat. That's how we found North of Bourbon. North of Bourbon is fucking phenomenal. Yep. We had a good time there while we were there. Yeah. That's how we found Favor, which was fucking insane. Like the places, the best places we've ever eaten Probably almost ever. I say Ryan's involved in a few of them. You know what I'm saying? In Kentucky? Just, Ryan's I mean, involved in all of them. I, I mean, just in our lives. Yeah. I mean, I think you'd say top 10. Oh. Ryan's involved some of the top 10s. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you know, I was just like, hey, buddy, is there somewhere, you know, we have this many people. Ryan set it all up. And it was, food was really good. Dude, the pickled egg with I, kimchi. I, I, know, I know everyone is talking like right now in the comments, like these assholes are out of touch. We've already said. I said that. This is like the end that. all be all trip for us. Yeah. Nothing's Listen, getting fancier. Nothing's no. getting better. And our next trip won't be like that. No, it won't. We didn't. Listen, I'm going to be honest. We didn't pay for the private jet. We didn't like. Yeah. It's not. We wouldn't have paid. We were going to. We did rent cars. We were we going to drive. Driving. <laughs> we yeah, were we going to drive. We would have drove for five hours. Honestly, the reason. So for real, what happened was Chris over at RDO1 was like, I would love to just save you guys the time 
um, rather than spending your whole day in a car. Yeah. I'd love to take that off of you guys, and then you can just enjoy something in Kentucky. Yeah. And that's what they did, and that's why they did it. It was really fucking cool they did it. Yeah, that dinner. They didn't ask for anything fucking in either. They had an off, awesome little bottle shop room in there, and I walked in, and they had... Well, I actually heard about this. Nix is the one that said it. Because I, I, I didn't even see it the first time. He goes, they have a 1989 Old Forester. I was like, is it 86 proof? He goes, I think so. I went in. I was like, I got to see. We were born in 1989. I've always wanted a birth year bottle. And Old Forester is one like, that we both yeah, love. Yeah, just Leia. It was like, walked in and go, oh. What only, proof was it? 86. Okay. You know, oh, it's only $400. I was like, ah, I've been drinking. That's true. I that, could be talked into this I would right say now. that's a partial part of your decision making. You know, you know what? I could be talking this right now because I, I, it's a bottle I'm going to hold on to. I'm going to do something Forever. cool yeah. with uh, someday. Mm-hmm. But the older I get, the more expensive a birthier bottle of bourbon that's will true. be. That's true. I could do birthier bottle of scotch probably cheaper. Way at, cheaper, at yeah. At this point in time. Yeah. Um, well, not it, way cheap. Probably not, not really. actually. Now, looking back on it. Now, mm-hmm. mind you, your birthier bottle oh. of scotch is going to be... yeah. 34 years monster, old or 35 yeah. years old rather than that old force being six or whatever it is. Yeah. But yeah, it will be a true 30, yes. 40 year old yeah. age or something. But it'll still be a show. grand yeah. or something too, yeah. though. That's the thing. I was like, man, I wanted it. Just bought it. I told Gabby, you know, it was the wildest buying experience I've ever had in my life. I walk up and I go, hey, t- this is the host. Just I go, hey, um, I just want to know how I buy a bottle out of your bottle shop. I was like, there's a bottle in there that I want. She goes, I don't know. Okay, uh, who would know? Yeah. She goes, you got to go talk to like Isaac at the bar. All right, cool. I'd not even seen the bar at this right. point in time. It was over by the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. So I just wandered around. I'm like, oh, hey, uh, you Isaac? He goes, yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, the hostess told me I need to talk to you to like buy a bottle of the case. And he was like, okay. I go, I'm, I want to buy a bottle. Yeah. He goes, all right. You're like, I don't know how to tell you guys I want you to give you I my money. Like, hey, man, like, I would like to buy something from yeah. you. And he was like, I, that's weird that she doesn't know how to do that. But Oh, um, that's why he's confused. Okay. I'll grab the manager. I go, all right, cool. Do you, do you want me to be like, he's like, where are you at? I go, up over here to the left. And he's like, all right, cool. I'll send her your table. And that's when she came around and was like, I hear someone's interested in buying a bottle. I was like, yeah, that's me. And she goes, all right, it's this much. I go, all right, cool. We're good. She goes, do you want to pay for it now? I go, I can get up and go pay for it. Yeah. Like she goes, no, no, no. I'll bring the card reader to you. I go, all right, cool, man. You could have done good. that from the start. Yeah. Cause I already told you on the buy. Yeah. And was like, dude, I had not, I had talked to three different people. They must not sell a lot of that vintage I don't stuff. Think so. They didn't have a lot of vintage stuff. Yeah. They had some, but not yeah. a ton. But like I had talked to three different people. Yeah. And then eventually she was like, I hear you're interested. And I was like, yeah, right. dog, I've you heard tried it from me to buy too. it now three times. Yeah. Um, I so told you I was charge interested. it. And then go back to dinner. It was like 20 minutes later. I go, oh, she never bought my bottle. Huh. That's weird. I go, did I miss something? I go, oh, I don't know where my bottle's at. All right, cool. So we're sitting there eating, eating. And I was like, all right, when we walk out, this is either going to be weird or awesome. Yeah. So eventually when we walked out, she's like, ah, here you go. I was like, I was only a little nervous. I mean, worst case, we're there. Now, if we had left, I understand the nervousness. Oh, about. yeah. Oh, buddy, wasn't leaving it. Yeah. Wasn't leaving it. I was enjoying my food, but it was like legitimate 20 minutes later that I realized I had already signed the check for right, that yeah. and nothing was dropped off at our <laughs> table because I instantly went back to, oh, dude, cool company, great food, sure. having a good time. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh, I don't even know where <laughs> that's at. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that that is one of those things like when we went to Neat, you could look at all of the bottles yeah. and stuff. Uh, from there, we go Murder Mansion. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was a creepy Airbnb, dude. That was mm. huge. It was freaking Yeah, it huge. looked like a house that they just kept adding on They clearly to did do that. And adding on to. That clearly started as like a 1,200 square foot house. Oh, we went all now the way a 4, down into square the cellar. House. Yeah. And it was frightful. Yeah, that was a creepy... I texted <sighs> my wife and said, you know, we had a good run. It was built... Like your grandparents lived there, type house. Like oh, that, it smelled like it. Great grandparents. It smelled like it. It um, like it probably had the uh, the underground tunnel that was oh, somewhere in there. Dude, it was, it was an underground tunnel. Super creepy. Glad we only had to do one civil. night there. Yeah, I. The guy stayed there twice. It was super cool. The, the when best we sat part outside, was Zach Jones sitting outside, just 
enjoying cigars. Dude, the best part was Zach. In what way? Dude, because every corner we turn around, Zach goes, I'm out, man. Peace. Yeah. Zach, Zach Jones just walking around this house. He goes, not sleeping in there. Not sleeping in there. He opens one door. He goes, yeah, I'm fucking good, man. <laughs> and then at one point he goes, hey, Rich, move the truck. Rich goes, why? He goes, because when I need to leave, I'm fucking out. Like immediate, like I'm racing away from this place. It was so creepy, dude. Oh, it listen. It was a mansion, and it come to find out, it was a historical man. Like it was legally documented as a historical thing. It looked like they legally owned people. <laughs> the uh, buddy, built. I would guarantee. Yeah. At some point in time, yeah, they were either helping or hurting. There was nothing <laughs> in between, dude. Swear to God, that place was fucking ancient. Yeah. I so we got to do oh, one they last had weird good rooms there. in there, dude. Yeah. There was a oh. chandelier in the bathroom. Yeah. Or a ceiling. It wasn't a chandelier. It was a ceiling fan. Sorry. Yes. There's a ceiling fan in the bathroom that I could hit my head on. Yep. Like it was because I changed it wild. Because I remember walking through and was like, what is that? And you're yeah. like, what? I go, you don't think that's weird? And you're like, <laughs> I do now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when you somebody points out a ceiling fan in the bathroom, you're like, holy shit. <laughs> it is it is super weird. Shit's a little weird here. That was weird. Oh, fuck you, cricket. Luke made some cornbread the next morning, dude. Got up. <sighs> nothing like nothing like a smell of cornbread through a house, house in a morning, dude. Yeah. Woof. I ate some cornbread. Luke made me up a plate of barbecue. Shit. I didn't even eat. Oh, man. I was doing... I was... I was. That was good. That I was, was a good sad. morning. I've, I had eaten way too much. I had drank too much on that trip. Like, cumulatively, it took 14 <laughs> years off my life. That mm-hmm. one week. That's true. We had we a hangout a at J-Hop, too. Yeah. That was fun. I wasn't even going to talk about that. That was fun. We don't got to talk about it, but it was a good time. Yeah. It was hey, a very good got time. got to drink a lot of shit you guys never even heard of. We, that we're not... We can't even... We can't even post pictures. Yeah. We just drank cool shit. Yeah. And it was a good time. It was a fantastic night. Well, at one <clears> point in time, Ryan did post a picture upside down, cheesy gold foil. He did? Yeah. It was upside down? Yeah. I didn't know it's that. Gone. They killed it. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It was like killed. So okay. it's in his hand, upside down, just killed. 88. Yeah. It was 1988. Motherfucker. It was phenomenal. Yeah. I shout sm- out to Kenny, too. I smelled. Yeah. Always, oh. sh- always shout out to Kenny if we get to hang out with him. Fucking Christ. And shout him. out to one of my favorite human beings I've ever met in my entire life, Jordan. Oh, not yeah. Cause, not because not because for any specific reason, just because I love him. That's um, it. We've talked Jordan probably a good amount of time. He'd come on a lot of our picks. He's one of Ryan's I buddy, love him so And much. we fell in love with him on the first pick, which I think was like Starlight. I feel like I could hang out with Jordan forever. Love that guy. I, he's just the best. Yeah, every time I see him, I Solid. just... Every, he's like one of those guys that every single time I see his face, I just... A it's, a, it's a mood lift. Yeah. It's literally... It's like the right weed at, yeah. in the right situation. I was going to say, it was like looking at a big old plate of drugs. You know, and you're like, you know what? <laughs> he just, I don't know who that is, but I'm happy I'm he, here. He just, it, he just is. He's like, his energy is always positive. He's a fo- positive dude and he's a blast and he's the fucking best. Am I going to have to cut that out of here? No. Which part? Your sister listens to this podcast. No, my sister knows everything. She'll tell your parents. No, they already know. Oh, my point. <laughs> hey, wait, what? No. One more time that Ron that asked me? <laughs> what were you going to say? Uh, I heard your parents are moving your sister's boyfriend. Yeah, they did that. To where? Oh, no, not to her house. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Um, Like, I think he moved to Bay City. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little closer. He was Lansing, though, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was Lansing, or um, I think his family's, like, fucking, I don't know, like, from the thumb. They're, like, an hour or something oh, away. thumb people, huh? So, <laughs> so Bay, wait, I might be wrong. Hate. Is Standish the thumb? Uh, Standish Sterling. Um, oh, Sterling might be where they're from. I don't know, dude. I thought it was an S. Maybe an S-T-D. Um, they're STIs <laughs> now, anyways. Uh, dude, talk about a bad marketing campaign. Um, oh, well, Super I mean, needs to start changing minutes shit. Deep, but that was the trip. Yeah, that was the trip, and it was a really good trip. And, you know, it was just... We've been fortunate enough to have, like, several good Kentucky trips, and it's a fun time, and it's a... Having experiences with other people's, like... The whole point of all the whiskey and stuff. So makes it a damn good time. Nick uh, Jones brought some motherfucking bottles. Yeah. And he was like, these are going to be gone by the time we leave. And we're like, Nick, he said he's not die. taking any of them home. I don't know who he gave them to. I don't. He told Rich you can have a Taylor Barrel Proof. I cried. That is, I don't know what I said, it I is mean, about that whiskey. I, mean, I love you know it. It was great. I, sitting out, <clears throat> smoking a cigar, drinking Nick's whiskey mm-hmm. out of the bottle. 
Because the, the, well, like, the, the second night at the Swepsons, um, oh, the I know. First night, yeah. yeah, you're out on the I patio. I was ready to go in and they go, yeah, we're going to have a cigar. I go, all right, cool, man. Yeah, you guys were up too late that night. So 4 a.m. Yeah, it's too late. I go, eh, it's probably like 11. And uh, we got back at midnight. We definitely got back at like 11.45. <laughs> no, we did not. We got back at 12.10. Was it? I oh, drove there. I That's how I know. <laughs> So I thought it was before midnight, and uh, I got mad for about 11, and uh, it was like 3-something. Yeah. 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 I was in bed sleeping. Ugh. I think I went to bed at 1.30, and then I heard you and Luke stayed up till like 4. I think Andrew did too, didn't he? Yeah. Fuck, dude. That's too late. You had a good night. That's too late. Great I night. got up went to Mictors in the morning. Could have done a bottle of your own. But we were going. We had plans and shit. Yeah, because it was three days like back to back to yeah. back. Mictors. Fill your bottle your own, dude. Which um, is why I just got back. Had the worst heartburn in my life. <sighs> were you not? Were you off that Omeprazole game? Uh yeah. You gotta I'm, get that shit. Wasn't taking it there. Yep. And then uh, the day back, it was like walking around, couldn't sleep bad, mm-hmm. real bad. Like, like you gotta sit up to sleep because it took fucking a Pepsi, hurts. I took an Omeprazole. And they ain't touching I shit. I had uh, uh, Pepto. Like and I threw everything late. at it, and it was still like. Yep. I'm it's because that Omeprazole needs that build-up yeah. time. You know what? If somebody figures out how to make a Omeprazole instant, yeah. richest person ever. Yeah. Ever. You could charge a lot of money for that uh, behind a drug counter. All right. I'm going to talk about the best golf shot of my life. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we can end it. Okay. Um, I got another good one. I, I'd love I'm going to get good at golf, by the way. Um, of this. So we did the golf tournament that we months. do every year. Is me, James, Scott, and Spencer. And I love Spencer to death. I'll bear this at... 56 minutes. <laughs> he's the worst golfer known to man. Spencer we all good. know this. Spencer ain't good. James said he's, he's dog shit. He's gotten better. He's oh, okay. gotten better. Still James said he's bad as me. Like, he's awful. Yeah, it's really yeah. bad. And um, so James hits a bomb on, a, like, a really hard hole and puts this on the... I'm, I'm going to paint the, the picture for you. It's a pretty skinny fairway. There's a pond to the left, pond to the right. Really long dog leg on the uh, dog leg right he puts us a little on the right side spencer hits it's not great i go scott all right i'm gonna break order i want you to hit second i had two clubs in my hand i go i just want you to hit second to see what we got is scott good at golf scott's damn good actually. okay i didn't know that um he just doesn't golf enough to, i think to like be on it okay he had some great drives for us like overall i'd put him in a pretty good golf okay. uh category and uh he hits Hit the tree, it fucking pinballs down. I go, oh, fuck, man. I was like, all right, I was going to play it safe. And James goes, it's a scramble. You got to go fucking go for it. I go, all right, cool, man. You don't have the ball right now. We got nothing. Yeah. We got nothing in yeah. play. I go, all right, cool, man. I'm going to go for it. It's a par five. James dropped a bomb. We're 202 oh, yards. Oh, you do out. have a ball to play. You have oh, James's. We, James hadn't hit yet. Oh, shit. Okay. I hadn't hit yet. James oh, this is your second yet. shot off James's initial. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I drop it, and I, I had a four iron and a five wood in my hand. I go, I think I can carve the five wood. And he goes, fucking do it. Fucking, I go, hey, man, I went to the range this morning because, unfortunately, old. Yeah, you you got some old hips, dude. Old, you got some old body I gotta warm up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you I do. Go, I, was hitting, I, I do not hit my woods go. Old age is going to be interesting yeah, for right, you. We're going to do it. Yeah. Just fucking perfect around the tree, lands on the green. Oh, and I was like, I'm glad there are witnesses here for yeah, this. Yeah, you I need go, that. I, I, I'm like, I don't have a better golf shot. How far anymore. you think that is? What? How far you think you hit the five wood? Uh, it was about 200 yards. Damn. Yeah. But it was, uh, with a big, good slice around. Right. So like it was you not, around the it fucking was not tree. a straight 200 yeah, yards. Yeah. So it was like good and around. Yeah. It's like, oh man. Hell yeah. I, I'm, I, I want to relive that for the rest of my life. Can we bottle that emotion? Because Dude. when I chunk my yeah, fucking the next in next shot. Yeah. Yeah, it here's was, the thing. It was close. After Imagine that. smacking a sweet shot like that, and James just walks up and just puts her on. Yeah, thankfully he didn't. You're like, hey, fucker. He did it to Scott so many he times. Did. Like Scott would have a fucking fantastic shot, and then James would just be like, all right, cool, man. Smack the shot of the ball. Yeah, yeah. man. Every time That's I was strange. like, oh, great, great drive. Scott would fucking connect and go forty yards farther. Cool. All right, I will take Scott's. And then James goes, all right, cool, dog. Yeah. Hits it another 20 yards further. Yeah. I go, what game are we fucking yeah. playing right now? Listen, you don't have to. What's so interesting is golf, you don't have to be athletic to play golf well, right? <sighs> like, not a requirement. You have to be athletic to play basketball well. Yeah. You have to be, like, these are, you have to be athletic to play football well at high levels. You yeah. just do, right? Yeah. Linemen, 
the most athletic fat people on the planet. Oh, yeah. You got linemen running four eights and four nines. Yeah. Like, it's fucking crazy. Well, nowadays, they're like 280 and jack, though. So, dude, they're fucking, um, who, there was just like a 315 pound lineman that ran a fucking four nine. That's fucking frightful. Buddy, it's a truck. That's a fucking <laughs> vehicle. I, that, that's a motorcycle moving at speed. It doesn't. Hey, big boy, I can get away from you. Why don't what? You yeah, it's wild. But James is like undercover athletic. Yeah. Like you see, James always been solid. Always, genuinely, always at, at been everything. super solid. Very good at baseball. Yeah, very good at baseball. Yeah, insane hand-eye coordination for baseball required. Yeah, like a necessity. Some would say. Very good at bowling. Very good at golf. Very yeah. good at softball. Very all good at like all stuff. the yeah. yeah very very good, very good at like undercover athlete shit. Yeah, yeah. And it, and you you like if you saw if you saw James and Klein. Yeah. And then they and you, you thought best golfing duo I know. No. Yeah. You would say no. Yeah. And then you watch the playoff, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Hey, somebody fucking PED those two right now. Watching test them. Klein shoot a seventy one was intimidating. Wild. Yeah. Is Klein significantly better than James at golf? Yeah. Okay. Does yeah, James yeah. golf a lot at this point? He's on a league. Oh, he is? Yeah. Okay. I didn't James know. James is great. Like he James is. is a phenomenal player. James better than Luke and Rich? Yeah. Okay. Um uh they're probably pretty close. Okay. Honestly. James I mean, everyone has like it's, right it's, on and off days, yeah. right? Um, James on a good day could probably shoot about par. Who's the closest you know to Klein? Um, my old boss. Oh, okay. Uh, Bob Bills. Okay. Pretty fucking good. I, it's so weird, dude. You just retire and play golf. I kind of listen. I'm I'm, I'm still getting, working. He's, I'm getting he's still in OPAs? that. He's still in that oh game. shit, yeah. damn! I'm get I'm getting the itch to just get really fucking good at golf, dude. I'm just thinking about Welcome it. Welcome to your 30s, man. I'm just thinking about it. So here's what I've changed in my 30s now that I hit 34. <laughs> so what I've changed in my mid-30s is I would, I would, I because I told Ricky this like three, You four, love everything about golf. Drinking and cigars. driving. Cigars. <laughs> <And cigarettes. laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Cigars. Dude, I do like golf carts. Um, yeah. The, <laughs> what I, what I realized recently like three or four weeks ago, I told Ricky, I said, when I'm good, and I told you this too, but I said, when I'm good someday and it's just time to chill, I'm just going to get super into football, chilling on Sundays, chill, you know, yeah. having some drinks, having just, just enjoying like that. Yeah. I love to like be into football. Well, then I started watching football this year and I'm like, I'm realizing like, because some of the games are so late, I can lay in bed and watch football on my phone. I like that. Yeah, it's very tablet. enjoyable. Yeah. And I'm like, why don't you bring that out for people to see? Dude, it, they won't come across on camera. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it will. Dude, the Pixel Fold is the greatest phone I've ever owned your in my life. Face, dog. What, let's see what's on here. Dudes. All right, we're good. Dudes. Well, you just, can show them the back. Well, I know, but you got to see the screen. The screen's what makes it. The back Jesus just looks silly. Christ. But anyways, but I can lay in bed and watch this. I like sometimes I play Hearthstone while I'm watching football. It's kind of great. But oh, anyways, God. You're on that grind, huh? I just like on and off. Not like fucking spending money yet. But anyways. Yeah. Yeah. But... So I started to like watch football again and then I'm like, man, I should just like get good at golf for fun. But I'm then I'm like, the problem is I'm going to spend money on getting good at golf, yeah. which means it's not for fun anymore. Yeah, it's still when fun. you start spending money, it's not for fun. What can you it's do? It's to be better you, than other yeah, people. But, 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 what, what can you do and not spend money? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, that, but, but these other things aren't competitive. Golf becomes competitive. What? Like I can go to the movies other, and have a good time. Okay. Not competitive. You know yeah, what I'm but saying? Like any other like. Thing that people do. Like, if it's that sports, is it's going to be yeah. competitive. Any, That's any the other problem. Sport, how about that? No, like, no, sports will always be competitive. Well, this is the problem. Okay. Well, now my only goal is to fucking beat the shit out of Rich in golf, right? Oh, and I just have to spend a bunch of money and time I love to, to do watch that. that happen. I know. And when I do it, he's going to tell me, "Oh, I had a bad day." Yeah. Oh, blah 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 blah. Right. But unfortunately, the time that you need, everything's gone bankrupt for us in that time. Right. Yeah. Right. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is, I got problems to figure I'm out. I'm a nice casual golfer. Yeah. Like if I could do once every two weeks, very happy. So you're doing 18 every two weeks, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Very happy. Um, Shoot like shit the whole time. I love the idea of golf, dude. I, I think what I need for the idea of golf to act, what I need to execute is I just, I need like the kiddos don't want me around. All, like there's, yeah. there's less involvement of yep. like being at home. Yep. And, and it's one of those things. It was the same with football where I'm oh, like, I can't watch you know this all need? Sunday. You I can't sit need? on the couch all Buddy, Sunday. 7 a.m. tea times. Oh. Exactly. But oh. you're done before noon. Yeah, but my kids are up at 7. You can be at you can be home by 11. For 18? Oh, yeah. When you're good. 
No, no, no. Yeah. No one's there at 7 a.m. No, no, no. I you know, play buddy. your own pace. My own pace is losing 50 balls. Get if better. I want to be done by 11. Get better. Though. No, it'd be more like coach shit, driving range shit, yep. pra- nets, practice yep. shit. Like, that's what it would take, right? Yeah, Realistically. 100%. And then the holes would come with, now I'm at least comfortable. Because right now, if you said, here's a club, swing it and hit a ball, I'm not comfortable doing that. I can yeah. hit the ball every once in a while and it's okay. 100%. But I'm not comfortable doing it. It's just like, I got pretty lucky. That fucking worked out. Klein's like, hey, man, don't do a 360 before you fucking hit the ball. Hey, like, Happy Gilmore, just- why don't you bump the brakes yeah. on that wind up? Um, every time. Every Klein's like, you want me to help you? I'm like, go ahead. He's like, do this one tiny minor tweak and then it works better. And you're yeah. like, that's wild that the twisting my grip something so a nice, mi- a nice little 7 a.m t time you could go play nine though nine would probably be the move yeah i mean you could be done but dude, before my, 9 a.m holden's up be before seven luna's yeah. up 7 30 like kids are up like i'm not, I'm still out you know what i'm yeah, saying but you're only missing like an hour right yeah every weekend i mean you don't have to do it every weekend that's true but it be turns into a competition this is the problem i'm gonna I beat just, the shit out of rich and i golf. literally just said one every two weeks yeah no on, i can't yeah yeah it'd be fine i can't yeah because be my only goal is to yeah, destroy but eventually, Rich. Hear me out. Your kids will be in school. That's true. Right. So you can still do the like 8 a.m. tea time. Yeah. They're already gone. They're yeah. at school. You can play 9, 18, whatever. <sighs> be it back. T- do some work. You know how long it's taking me right now? If you time me playing 18, buddy, it'd be a day. Uh, is there anything in <laughs> front or behind day. you? No. But it's just um, me. It's a day. I bet you get it down in under four hours still. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could run a marathon faster. I could play 18 no, holes you could right not. now. I could walk no, a marathon. No, you could not. No, yeah. you could oh, not. Dude. It'd take me so long to play 18 holes. A world record. It's world record. 18 holes, dude. Marathon is two hours. Yeah, that's wild. I really got faith. Six. I'll take the bet. Six? Six hours. Yeah. I think people who are out of shape can do it in six. That's like a, I think a 12 it's a run minute, walk. I think it's about a 12 minute mile the whole time. No. Hold on. So you got to do the math on that. Um, Is it 23.6? Yeah. 24.6? 20. 6.2? Is that it? Do yeah, 25. It's 26.2. Is it? Okay. I was going to say, I don't know which it is. But all that, long story short, I'm so back into football, dude. I'm so fucking sold on it again. <sighs> can't do it. I love it. I'm betting. I'm sports betting now. It's a fucking problem. I it's accept your thing. cookies. Cool, man. Never. You got to reject all cookies at all. All time. right. I was pretty much right, I think. What is it? Uh, no, I'm sorry. 12 minute miles. miles gets you to a marathon in five hours and 14 minutes. Okay. So I got another 45 on top of that. So uh, let's do it's 14 minute miles, give or take. 14 minute you want to go? That's what it would be roughly a six hour marathon. Could you, how fast can I walk That a gets mile? you at six hours and seven minutes. There you go. Okay. 14 minute miles. Can I have three months to train? But Three that, months, I can do that 100%. That wasn't the bet, though. Yeah, no. You said, I bad. can do a six, no. six hour oh, marathon. Dude, how long does it take to walk a mile? Walking speed is about uh, just, uh, just over. Because most people walk about um, three, Two to three. a little bit taller. Yeah. So I bet you walk around four. It's about 15 minutes. Between 15 to dude, 20 Dude, so minutes. we're pretty close to that. Walking, I could almost walk a marathon in six. I mean, seven you'd, hours. You'd have to speed walk for six hours. How about that? That's a lot. Seven hours, I could definitely do a marathon. You'd literally just have to speed walk six hours straight. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, buddy. If you could jog a little in there, yeah, that would cut it down a little bit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think you could say. golf eighteen before six. It'd hours. be close though. No, it'd be close. No, it would not be. Yeah, dude. Okay, so I've been. At this will end it on this. I've been sports betting on football. Don't know anything about it yet. How you Did doing? watch Hard Knocks. How you doing? Enjoyed the fuck out of Hard Knocks. Very excited about this. Uh, so how's DraftKings? We were talking about maybe working with FanDuel for a minute, okay. right? Yeah. So I'm like, I'll use FanDuel's platform to see if I like it or not. Yeah. Um, the FanDuel graciously <laughs> took. Your or, money. This is not an ad spot. FanDuel graciously. Oh, did you sign up? So you like you should be getting like first better stuff. Yeah, I got yeah. two hundred bucks for spending five or ten, dude. Yep, blew through that two hundred um, and five, but put, a, put my own hundo in. 
All right. Now I'm taking the hunt that more seriously. Yeah. You know how you are with like 200 bucks. Yeah. You got to take the long shots. Buddy. Man. Yeah. I'm yeah. doing like fucking eight person parlays. I was going to say nine <laughs> game parlays. Yeah, Let's dude. see how Sunday treats exactly. me. Yep. Dude, I pick Super Bowl winners on that $200. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like, <laughs> if this turns out, I make four grand. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, dude. <laughs> Took Aaron Rodgers, huh? Dude, if the Lions go to the Super Bowl, I'm going to make so much fucking money. Um, Because I bet before the Kansas City game. You, you took... Five dollars into yeah. the Lions winning the Super Bowl, yeah. which should be about <laughs> like two sixteen grand. million to one. Yeah, so much so money, you dude. should be able to retire yeah. at the retirement the, the Lions win the Super Bowl. Now I will say I bet on Mon or Monday night's game with the Jets, the Bills. Now I mean they they scrapped it out to a win. <laughs> now here's the problem: I did parlays and then I did some some like money line stuff, and so I bet I bet twenty dollars, dude. I only ended up betting twenty on Monday. And or 25, I bet 25 came out with 118 bucks. Not I'm bad. up. Yeah. Because Wilson, who was a Jets receiver, you the, took, this whole offense is built around Aaron Rodgers for yeah. a whole off season. And then he blows his shit out. Play ACL, three of the play game. Four. What? Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. No, his fucking Achilles. Oh, yeah. That's blew her out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gone. Because someone said he took five snaps. If you count as eight. Her, oh, so, that's uh, mean, fucking. dude. I feel so bad for him. Can you imagine? Finally happy. Hey man. Finally good. Maybe you know. Don't play football when you're in your forties. He's not. Do you know that? I thought he was forty four. How old do you think he is? About that. Thirty nine. No, I had no idea, dude. Why does he look like the most weathered thirty nine I've ever seen in my life? In the NFL. <laughs> what did he, Olivia Munn do to him? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. From the sounds the of it. Out yeah, of from the head. sounds of it. But yeah, dude. The man looks like as Brett as, Favre when Brett Favre oh, yes. retired. Yeah, 100 when he was 52, yeah. Dude, when he, one of my parlays, 30, obviously, 90, had Aaron Rodgers throwing for 265 yards, right? Seems like an easy bet. In theory, first game back on the Jets, they designed the whole offense for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. He's got good receivers. He's got, great, like, whatever, all this shit. I'm like, easy parlay, dude. They had... um had Garrett Wilson scoring a touchdown, which is supposed to be Aaron Rodgers' favorite receiver yeah. for the year. I'm like, this is the best parlay of all time. And then, you know, FanDuel's like, 12,000 people hit this parlay. Like, it shows you. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, of course they did. Because he's going to go, bet, he's gonna yeah. go off. He's going to go the fuck off. 12,000 people were pissed. Four snaps later. Five snaps later. <laughs> well, four snaps and then the fifth. Yeah. I feel so bad for him. That's got to just. It's a hell of a surgery, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, he'll have it. It's like one of your biggest uh, ligaments. Achilles. Yeah. I heard it's a nightmare. Yeah. Like the whole thing. Uh, the rehab, the all of it. Guy had like a big scar. I, I'm done had the same doctors. Though. Right. Sure. I'll of course, say that. Yeah. But like big scar all the way up. Really? And like he tore his Achilles. Down. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There was a doctor on there, an NFL. He was like a, he'd been an NFL doctor for 10 years or some shit. He said, he goes, listen, my, and he looks like a very normal doctor. Yeah. Right. He goes, my Achilles tendon and the best offensive lineman's Achilles tendon, almost identical. Yeah. Which is wild yeah. to think about. Like, these things don't... You know, you change all this shit about your body. It's gigantic. That does not yeah. change. Like, yeah. you can't you strengthen it. You get so much it, force like, out of it, and yeah. then she's gone. Yeah. Yeah, all the other tendons, you can work on. You can lift weights, and they will mm -hmm. change your bone density, ligaments, sure. like strength and stuff like that. Well, you can do mobility shit for them. And, Achilles ain't one of them. Yeah. He yeah. said he was like, so when God made humans... Like the Achilles thing, that's where the story came from. Is like that's the weak point. Like the, everybody's is the same, and they're all dog shit. Hmm. Come to find out, didn't know that. Yep, he said Achilles and um one other one one other tendon. He's like those on all people are almost identical. All right, you ready to end it? Yeah, I think I got through a good amount of what I want to talk about. Cool. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Like comments. We're gonna make, eventually. This will be a weekly thing eventually. Yeah, when shit's not be. wild. Shit's Ooh. been actually relatively calm, but uh, I would like travel. It's about the, the well. Wild. The travel made it hard, which yeah. was the, what happened last week. But yep, this travel will be a weekly made it weird. Um, we we both have some travel built in right now. Yeah. Um, and then and then more travel built into the channel. So yeah. Ugh. All right. Yep. We'll see you guys hopefully in a week. How about that? Yep. Cheers. Love you. Bye.